So moving on to the units menu in ANSYS Workbench, you can go ahead and select from different types of predefined unit systems such as SI, metric, or US customary. Now this checkbox here, display values as defined, means that this will use the units from the source. So let's say if you imported a CAD model, this will use the default values of the source instead of using the values in your project units. So this is where you can go ahead and change that to, to force ANSYS to use the values in project units or to use it from the source. The last option here is the unit system. So let's go ahead and click on that right now. Once you have that open, let's go ahead and make this box slightly bigger by dragging onto this edge and moving it to the right. So as you can see here on the left hand side, you have a predefined set of unit systems. The column B here shows you the active project unit system. So as you can see, we've selected the number three metric. Column C is basically the default unit system. So every time you launch ANSYS, this will be the default unit system that ANSYS will go to, depending on which one you choose. Column D basically hides the other unit systems that you're not interested in seeing in the units menu. So let's say you want to change the default unit system to US customary, you can go ahead and click on that right there, and that will change the default to US customary. If you wanted to hide a few other unit systems, such as US Engineering, you can go ahead and click on this checkbox, and now it will not show up in the unit system anymore. Now at the bottom here, you can see you can also have the options to either duplicate, delete, import, or export a unit system. So let's say we wanted to make our own custom system. We can go ahead and start off with a default system, say the metric system and click on duplicate. This will duplicate the system and you can scroll down to the bottom here and now you'll see something called custom unit system. Now let's say we want to make this our default system we can go ahead and check this box and check this one right here to make it into our active project and the default system. Now with this custom unit system you can go ahead and double click on this and rename this to whatever you want. Let's call this metric 2 and hit enter. Now as you can see on the right, you have column A which is the quantity name and column B which is the unit. So you can go ahead and change the default values, let's say for the angle, from radian to degrees. Or say change the length from meters to millimeters. Now once that's done, this will automatically save it in the project. But if you want to send this to a friend, you can go ahead and click on the export button and this will save the unit system as an XML file. You can also import it if somebody sends you a custom unit system and it will import it into your unit system library. Now to delete this system, it must not be active. So let's go ahead and click on number three and make this one the default system again. And let's click on number 20, the metric two and click on delete. Now once that's done, we can go ahead and click on close. 